Well, good evening. This is Pastor Keith. It's actually morning sometime. I record these videos in advance. So today is supposed to be Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. It's day 21 of our 40 days of prayer. We're on page 31. And today our focus is strengthen your faith in the God who revives. Our scripture focus text for today is Ezekiel 37. Starting in verse 1, we're going to read 14 verses. The scripture says, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of dry bones. And he led me around among them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live, and I will lay down sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling, and bones came together, bone to its bone, and I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, we come from the four winds, O breath and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. Today's prayer focus is that we would ask that God would increase our faith as we continue to pray for revitalization in our church, that we would, would have greater faith to trust that, uh, that God can bring life where uh, life has dimmed or life has faded or where, where there needs to be renewal. And this is an, an important promise. Uh, it's powerful because what we see in this text is that God brings life where there was absolutely no life, uh, that, that he brings life to these bones. There was, there, there, there was nothing to, to work with. The, the, the bones were exceedingly dry. Uh, and so we believe that God can do the work and he can raise anything. Second thing I think that's important to notice is that it says here that, that God spoke to Ezekiel and Ezekiel spoke to the bones and life came. God gave the life, but God worked with Ezekiel to bring about that life. He used Ezekiel as an agent um, of, of his work and God uses people as the agents of his work. Uh, third thing, I think to observe is that the condition of uh, the people at that time was extremely grave. And I don't just mean because there's dead bones there. I mean, it was grave because the people had been torn off of their land because of their sinfulness and taken into captivity. And so what Ezekiel is told here in verse 14 is I will put my spirit within you, you shall live, and I will place you in your own land, and you will know that I am the Lord, I have spoken, and I will do it. Uh, God is gathering in his people, he's building his church, that's what he's promised us he will do, 
And if he makes a promise to us, we can count that God is going to do that. And he's not going to hold back on fulfilling his word. Well, it's been a joy to uh, make and share these videos with you. If you'd like to share any feedback, insights, prayer requests, uh, please leave a comment or contact me directly. Uh, please go ahead and share this video. Uh, either like our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube page and share it with somebody else. You've just run across this video randomly. We worship together at Harvest Baptist Church on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. We'd love to have you join us. You can learn more about us at harvestbc.com. Hope you have a great day today. God bless you.